Today we'll be taking the derivative by definition of f of x equals 1 over the square root of x. So we'll start by taking the limit as h goes to 0 of 1 over the square root of x plus h minus 1 over the square root of x all over h. So the first thing we'll do, well I'm going to recopy it, it's the first thing I'm going to do. So I have the limit as h goes to 0 of 1 over the square root of x plus h minus 1 over the square root of x all over h. I want to get rid of this compound fraction, so I'm going to multiply apply the numerator and the denominator by the common denominator at the top here, this top numerator. Um, anyway, the common denominator of these two terms here, so we get uh, that will be the square root of x plus h times the square root of x over the square root of x plus h times the square root of x. When I do so, I get the limit as h goes to 0. When I multiply uh, square root of x plus h times square root of x times 1 over the square root of h, I'm left with the square root of x. Here, when I multiply negative 1 over square root of x times square root of h, x plus h times square root of x, I am left with negative square root of x plus h. The denominator, I have h times the square root of x plus h times square root of x. Don't expand. Then I guess there's really not any expansion to do, but don't try anyway. There's nothing to do there. So now I'm going to recopy it. Still have my form 0 over 0. So now I'm going to multiply the, the uh, numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the numerator. So what we do when we have radicals in the numerator in 0 over 0 form and we have their, the radicals are separated by a, a sum or difference or are a sum or difference. So I have the square root of x uh, plus the square root of x plus h is the conjugate of the numerator. Multiply top and bottom. Now when I multiply the numerator out I get the square root of x times the square root of x. It's just x. The middle term would drop out because the square root of x times the square root of x plus h plus a negative square root of x plus h times the square root of x is just 0. So now I take the negative times square root of uh, x plus h times the square root of x plus h. It's just x plus h. I'll distribute it in a second. Now I, the denominator I have h times square root of x times the square root of x plus h times the square root of x plus the square root of x plus h. Now I'll distribute that x, I mean that negative 1. So I have x minus x minus h all over h times the square root of x times the square root of x plus h times the square root of x plus square root of x plus h. Now I can do a little bit of simplification. x minus x is of course 0 and then um, there's an h over h leaving a negative 1. Don't forget this negative right here. So I'll just recopy that before I take the limit. So I have the limit as h goes to 0, negative 1 over the square root of x times the square root of x plus h times the square root of x plus the square root of x plus h. Now we just need to take the limit. So the limit as h goes to 0, this h is going to 0, as well as this h is going to 0. So I'm left with negative 1 over square root of x times the square root of x. It's just x. 
the square root of x plus the square root of x is 2 square roots of x. And we wanted to clean that up and change its form a little bit. We could say negative 1 over 2 times x to the 3 halves. Because remember, square root of x is x to the 1 half. Like bases add the exponents, 1 plus 1 half is 3 halves.